Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you, teacher? I'm fine. And you? I'm uh, very well, teacher. That's good. <laughs> Thank you. We are going to wait for the others a couple of minutes. Okay. Um. Only you and me. Yes. And... We are the first ones. Okay. Yes. Teacher in in platform in Unify AI the the exercise I no remember I I I it's very difficult the uh, finish in 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 no voy a decir en español no le okay. he encontrado <laughs> No he encontrado la solución, solo me falta eh, una sección de la unidad 5 y en el examen final también, que no, no, no paso eso. Lo estoy intentando. Y mm. no sé si habrá algún problema o algo de la plataforma. En ese caso, si ¿sí puede mandarme mensaje con el, no, el número del ejercicio o el, el, el número de la sección en la que tiene el problema para que lo revisemos. Tanto de la, de, de la sección y tanto del, del examen para que vayamos uh -huh. viendo dónde está el problema y lo podamos resolver. Ok, uh -huh. gracias. You're Porque welcome. sí he estado queriendo terminar y, y, y le doy de una forma y de otra y le quito la cómic con mayúscula uh -huh. y nada. Sí, Ajá. entonces me manda el, el número de la sección o de la parte en la que tiene el problema y vamos a ir viendo cuáles fueron las respuestas que usted puso y vamos a ver cuál es el problema en el que, en el que no puede avanzar. Ok, teacher. Uh -huh. Thank you. You're uh -huh. welcome. So, um, as you know, we are in the session number four. This is the last day of this week. So we are going to end this week number three today. And we are just going to have one more week, four more days to complete the course. So it's very, very um, amazing that we have in this moment. Because you know that at the beginning I was saying like, we are going to feel like it's not a very long time because I feel like uh, it's a very, very short time because uh, time has passed really, really fast. So we are almost in the end. We're just going to have one more week. Today we are going to complete the section number four. Uh, we are going to talk, to talk about the last topic And then we are going to um, see the exercises that we have there because we have a couple of exercises on the platform. But the first thing is we are going to uh, listen a conversation and we are going to practice. We are going to do a little practice. Then we are going to perform or we are going to talk about the topic. Then we are going to have the knowledge check that is the last knowledge check of the section number four in the reading exercise. So in that case, we are going to uh, complete all the information and all of the activities that we have on the platform in the section number four. So I know that some of you um, uh, have worked on the platform already, but we are just going to do it for the ones that are not working on that section in this moment. But we're going to begin because yesterday we were talking about the three words, uh, phrasal verbs, and we have a list of the most common phrasal verbs. And we're going to perform a short exercise. But in this case, it's just to see uh, the application of the three word phrasal verbs that we have on the document. So in this case, I have 10 sentence. Uh, that we're going to complete with the phrasal verb that you consider is the correct for the, um, the situation. So we are going to read the, um, the sentence and then you are going to tell me what is the correct option for them because I have three options for you. In this case, you're not going to guess just by memory. In this case, I'm going to give you some clues of the answer. So 
We are going to begin this session with this example or this short exercise um, related to the topic of the three word phrasal verb. Then we're going to go to the platform and we're going to listen a conversation. We're going to practice and then we're going to continue with the new topic. But in this case, we are going to talk about uh, suggestions. We're going to talk about how to uh, make suggestions, how to use them, and all of that thing. So we are going to begin with the exercise. So I'm going to uh, write the sentence and also the possible answers. So we have here, he dropped. A school at 14. Remember that we were like a, writing the phrasal verbs, but also we were uh, writing the, the meaning of the phrasal verb. So in that case, if you remember the meaning of the phrasal verb in some of them, you are going to find the answer very easily. And in this case, we have the following options. We have out of, out at, and on at. Then we have number two. It says, Jane has this nasty habit. Jane has this nasty habit of breaking our conversation. We have three options in on, on in, on at. In this case, if you can and notice, we have uh, one of the three elements of the phrasal verbs in the uh, sentence. And then you're just going to tell me the two other elements that we have on that phrasal verb. Number three, as I had been traveling, I couldn't, I couldn't catch the news around town. And we have three different options up with Up out out on. Then we have number four. We have employed several people to check. the condition of our warehouse from time to time. Three options up with up on and out on number five can you come your intake of sugar uh, 
I mean, this one is not just, this is wrong, this part. Can you come? A better idea is the first one. I am mixing the sentences. So in this case, we have up with, out with, out on. Number six, you must cut Your intake, this one is the correct, your intake of sugar. We have three options along with, out on, down with number seven she doesn't get her siblings I'm going to move this one. Just let me write the sentences. We must do something to get Number nine, when will you ever get that novel you have been writing? or ages away with on with and the last one number 10 if you don't work hard You want be able to keep your peers and the three options up with. out with. So we have 10 sentences and I'm going to move. Let me see if I can do it like this because I need all of the, the sentences in one space because it is better for you. So I'm going to move this one because in that case, you are going to read the options better.
So in here we have the 10 sentences. So I'm going to move it for the number one. And I'm going to give you a couple of minutes to read the, um, the sentences and the options. In this case, it's just to complete the uh, phrasal verb that we were like um, learning yesterday. And remember the meaning of the phrasal verb. So you're going to find um, that phrasal verb uh, in that case kind of easily. So read the sentence, then think about the, the complement of the phrasal verb, and then we are going to say the answers. So I'm going to give you three minutes, three minutes to read and find the uh, answers and then we're going to read the um, the options and you're going to tell me what are the complement of the phrase over. So let's begin. Okay, let's see what are the answers. For the first one, he dropped the school at 14. What is the complement of that um, phrasal verb? 
out of. Okay, out of this one. I'm going to mark the answers. But let me go to this one. Okay. Yellow. Okay, number two. Jane has this nasty habit of breaking our conversation. Mm -hmm. Good in on. As I have been traveling, I couldn't catch news around town. What is up it called? Ah, uh, good. Up with. We have employed several people to check the condition of our warehouse from time to time. What is the complement of check? In this case, let me move a little bit. Give me a moment. In this case, we have like this. In this case, we have all of these uh, phrasal verbs in this um, in this list. In this case, we have check here, check up on. That is the same um, phrasal verb that we are using here. So in this case, we are saying that check up on is the correct answer. You have all, all of these uh, phrasal verbs on the document already. Then, can you come a better idea? Up with. Up with. You must cut your intake of sugar. In this case, down on. You must cut down on your intake of sugar. She doesn't get her siblings. Along, along with. Okay, along with. Very good. Then we must do something to get current politician. Of, read of, or read of. The second, read of. The second one, read of. Good. Number nine, when will you ever get that novel you have been writing for ages? In this case, through with. This is kind of reddish color. Yes, this one. Then, if you don't work hard, you won't be able to keep your peers. In this case, in the last one, up with. So there we have all of the uh, answers for this exercise. They are the same phrasal verbs that we were uh, learning yesterday. So in that case, you can check on the list and then you can check on the answers and you are going to see that they are 
the same phrasal verbs that we were like learning yesterday. So now we are going to listen a conversation uh, that is related to the topic um, that we're going to develop uh, in a couple of minutes, that is the way to make suggestions. So we're going to listen that conversation. We are going to have a little practice and then we're going to talk about the topic making suggestions. So we're going to see the video and then we're going to continue with the topic. And then we are going to do the knowledge check and the reading exercise. And the conversation is called, I need a date. So let's go listening the conversation. Hi, let's begin by asking some questions. When, where, and how did you meet your wife, husband, or that special someone? Type your answers on our discussion box. As well, I want you to listen to the conversation and find out what Mike suggests James to do. I need a date. Part A. Listen and practice. This is so depressing. I haven't had a date since Angela broke up with me. What can I do? What about looking through the personal ads on the internet? That's how I met Amy. Actually, I've tried that. But the people you meet are always different from what you expect. Well, why don't you join an online dating service? A friend of mine met his wife that way. That's not a bad idea. Also, it might be a good idea to check out those discussion groups at the bookstore. Yeah, if I don't meet someone, at least I might find a good book. Okay, we have here the conversation and we are talking about dating someone. So in this case, we have James and Mike that are talking about uh, that situation. James is um, telling Mike that uh, he haven't had a date since Angela broke up with uh, him. So he asks something and that is the base um, thing about this conversation. What can I do? That is the question. He needs answer. He needs uh, some suggestions. So that's the thing that um, Mike is doing. What about looking through the personal ads on the internet? That's how I made Amy. That's the one suggestion. Looking through the personal ads on the internet. And James said, actually, I have tried that, but the people you meet are always different from what you expect. Then, suggest number two. Well, what, why don't you join an online dating service? A friend of mine met his wife that way. That is not a bad idea. And then the number three. Also, it might be a good idea to check out those discussion groups at the bookstore. Yeah, if I don't meet someone, at least I might find a good book. So right now, if you can uh, have a screenshot of the conversation, you can do it right now because we're going to have this conversation as a practice. So I'm going to give you one minute to get your uh, screenshots done. And then I'm going to open the, um, the small rooms in which you are going to practice this conversation. While you are uh, taking your uh, screenshots or your images or your photos, I'm going to read again the conversation. This is so depressing. I haven't had a date since Angela broke up with me. What can I do? What about looking through the personal ads on the internet? That's how I made Amy. Actually, I have tried that, but the people you met are always different from what you expect. Well, why don't you join an online dating service? A friend of mine met his wife that way. That's not a bad idea. 
Also, it might be a good idea to check out those discussion groups at the bookstore. Yeah, if I don't meet someone, at least I might find a good book. So, we're going to go to the breakout rooms for a five minutes. We're not going to have like a very long time in there. We're just going to have five minutes on the breakout rooms and then we're going to read the conversations. I'm going to move um, through the groups and we're going to listen a little bit of the practice and then we're going to come back to the main session. So let's go. And I'm going to, uh, yes, just three groups. Let's go to the groups, please. So Monica and Jenny, can you please join the breakout rooms, please? Mike. Okay. Okay. This is this is so depressing. I haven't had a date since Angela broke up with me. What can I do? What about looking through the personal ads on the internet? That's how I'm, I met Amy. Actually, I tried that, but the people you meet are always different from what you expect. Well, why don't you join an online dating service? A friend of mine met his wife that way. That's not a bad idea. Also, it might be a good idea to check out those discussion groups at the bookstore. That's not a bad idea. Also, it might be a good idea to check out the, those discussion groups at the bookstore. And yeah, if I don't meet someone, at least I meet find a good, a good book. Okay, we are done. The other couple can practice too. Yeah. And then change. You you change me Mike. Then practice a couple. Thank you, Monica. Monica? Me met his wife that way. Also, I mean, be good idea to check out uh, those discussion group on the drugstore. Mm. Also, in, uh, me, it might. It might. I might, yes. Also, it might be a good idea to check out 
dog discussion groups at the backstop? Yeah, if I don't meet some, at least I mean in a good book. Okay. 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 I I am yes. Yeah. This is so the pricing. I haven't had a day sign. Angela broke up with me. What can I do? What about looking from the personal that of the internet? That is how I meet Amy. Amy? Amy. Actually, I try that, but the people you meet are always different from what you expect. Well, we don't, you, you jump, you go, sorry. Uh, well, we don't you join online learning service. A friend of mine meet his wife that way. We're just going to wait like 20 seconds and we're going to continue because we're going to uh, wait for the others to come back. So we're going to be patient. It's almost 10 seconds. Okay, we had the practice of the conversation in which they were talking about dating and all of the things. So that is the beginning of the topic of the suggestions, because in that case, um, they are talking like different uh, things that uh, one of the participants can do to find a new girlfriend in this case. So now we are going to talk about a ways to make suggestions. We are going to see what are the suggestions and uh, how to directly make suggestion in English. We are going to see some examples. And we are going to see also how to make suggestion in English using questions. And then we are going to end with the, um, with the section number four. So, Let's continue with the topic of the suggestions. So let me go to the document and we're going to begin with that part. So let me move a little bit. So here we are, and we are going to begin with the topic that in this case, we are going to have the question, how to directly make suggestions in English. So in this case, if you want to make a brief and a straight uh, suggestion, we're going to see simple sentence patterns that we are going to use to get the listener's attention. 
So in this case, we're not going to have like very long sentences. In this case, we're going to um, have simple sentences that um, are going to help us to gain the interest of the listener to listen what we are trying to say. So using I suggest, the word I suggest is one of the simple and fastest way to make suggestion in English. After I suggest, you should have a noun or a gerund plus what you want to let your listener consider. So one of the most simple ways to get the attention of the listener when we are talking about suggestion is to use I suggest. And we have some examples. So in the in this one we have, where should we have dinner, everyone? In this case, it's like when you are having a meeting. Where should we have dinner, everyone? And for the answer, I suggest going to the nearest Chinese restaurant. So in that case, you have the suggestion there. I suggest going, and in that case, we're using the gerund, and then to the nearest Chinese restaurant. So in that case, that is the suggestion, to go to the Chinese restaurant. Then we have another one. One of the, um, of the uh, person in this conversation is saying, I'm bored to death already. I'm bored to death already and the other person say i suggest playing board games so in that case we have another suggestion using the gerund and it says that this one is a very popular way native speakers use when giving their advice directions, and of course, making suggestions. And we need to remember that we could, should, out, uh, always be followed by an infinity verb. If we are using cool, should, out, should, we are going to use an infinity verb. In this case, this one, should, out always be followed by an infinity verb.
And in this case, we have some examples to see clearly this uh, information. We have the example number one. It is uh, getting darker. We're going to be lost. And we're going to um, change a little bit the way we are going to make a suggestion. In this case, you are not going to use, I suggest. We're going to use, we uh, should. So I think we should get back to where we started. Second one, I'm starving now. I'm starving now. And another way to make suggestion, we could order fast food instead of cooking. Could we? So in this case, hasta esta parte tenemos lo de hacer las sugerencias con el I suggest, yo sugiero, o sea, es directo, ¿verdad? Yo sugiero que. Y luego tenemos el uso de should, could, out, con el we. En este caso eh, es más común usarlo con we en estas, um, en esta frase. So, Tenemos también ese uso, pero con el should, could, and out, siempre vamos a utilizar un verbo en infinitivo. En cambio, con el I suggest, podemos utilizar eh, un gerundio o un nombre, pero más que todo gerundio, ¿verdad? ING. So, in this case, we have two different ways to make suggestions. Then we have an expression that is let's, let's, that is very, very uh, used. That is this one, let's. That is a short version of let us, let us. And this one must be followed by an infinitive, a verb. And let us means allow us to do something. But when it comes, let this expression can be understood as we should do something together, which is perfect to be applied when giving suggestion in English. So, this has two different meanings that are almost the same, but when we are using let us, the long version, it means all of us to do something. It's like giving permission. But when we are writing the short version, let's, can be understood as we should do something together.
and we have some examples. Let's go to the mall. Let's go to the mall. In that case, uh, we don't have I suggest, we should, we pull, but we are telling uh, this kind of phrase, let's go to the mall as a suggestion. Can we go to the mall or let's go to the mall? Are you free this weekend? Let's go to let's go to watch a movie. So it says that this one is not like the most favorite choices. It would be nice if we could. It's a nice, a nice way to make suggestion in English. The Adjective nice can sometimes be replaced by other words with the same positive meaning. But in this case, just positive meanings. And you are going to be free to choose what adjectives will best describe your feeling and make the sense more diverse. And in this case, we have another way to express or make suggestions. That is, it will be nice if we could. That is this expression, it will be nice if we cool. It will be nice if we cool. So in that case, you can replace nice for positive adjectives or adjectives that have um, positive meanings. And we have some examples. I'm feeling quite cold. I'm feeling quite cold. It will be nice if we could have a cup of tea. It will be nice if we could have a cup of tea. It will be perfect. In this one, we change nice to a right perfect. It will be perfect. To spend the whole summer with you. Now we have some different uh, phrases or words that we can use to make so just suggestions. Now we are going to see how to make suggestion using questions. In this case, we're going to use questions. How to make suggestions in English using questions. Sometimes native speakers want their suggestions seem softer and more polite. They use questions to make the suggestion some, uh, something listeners can choose, not something they are commanded to do. En este caso, ustedes saben que al hacer preguntas um, es para que suene mucho más eh, respetuoso. Um, like dulce, respetuoso, que no suene tan pesado. Y ellos lo hacen para que el que escucha, o sea, la persona que está escuchando pueda decidir no, eh, y no sentir que le están um, comandando a hacer algo. O sea, que no es una orden, sino una opción. So in this case, we have the first uh, question that is, do you want to...
Do you want to? And this one, you will feel, I mean, you will find that do you want to is followed by an infinitive verb. When asking this question to give suggestion, you want to know is if someone agreed with what follows. And we have some examples. And the first one said, do you want to live in an apartment? Do you want to live in an apartment? And the second one, I found this kitten in a box this morning. Do you want to take him home? So in this case, we are using question, but we have just, do you want to? And then we are going to complete with infinitive verb. I'm going to add the whole information because we have uh, more questions uh, to make suggestion. I'm going to add all of that information to the document and you are going to find them um, in there. So. Because in that case, you know that we um, are done with the time. So we're going to end the session here. Remember that we are going to continue the next week because it's the last week. So you need to work on the platform and complete the sections because the next week is the last one. So we are going to end the session here. Have a really good night. Have a really good weekend. And we are going to see each other on Monday. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you.